Michigan State University. You love it, but how much do you know about its history? It's time for Draw My Life, MSU edition. MSU, or the Agricultural College of the State of Michigan, as it was originally called, was founded on February 12, 1855 as the nation's pioneer land-grant college. It took two years to build the two-building campus before classes started in 1857 with 63 students and nine faculty and staff members. In 1870, the first female students were admitted. They were the first women admitted to any college in Michigan. 1873 was another big year, with the beginning of Beale Botanical Garden and the donation of the rock. Pretty crazy that they both still exist today. Skip forward to 1896, and the school participated in its first season of football, playing four games. Ever wondered when we first started to call ourselves Spartans? That'll be in 1926, and that name hasn't changed. On June 22, 1929, Beaumont Tower was dedicated. Legend goes that you aren't a true Spartan unless you get a smooch from someone in the shadow of the tower. Not the worst old tall tale to test out. Anyway, in 1941, John Hanna, MSU's longest serving president, started his presidency. He served from 1941 to 1969, and enrollment went from just over 6,000 to over 40,000 during his tenure. Here's just a few of the awesome things that happened during Hanna's presidency. The Spartan statue was dedicated in June of 1945. In 1949, the school was added to the Big Ten Conference. And just six years later, in 1955, the football team became the national champions. The National Superconducting Cyclotron was established in 1963. More on that later. Just before the Beatles came to America, we finally made it to the name of Michigan State University on January 1st, 1964. After Hannah's presidency, Clifton Wharton was named the first African-American president at a major U.S. research university in 1970. Skip forward to the 21st century, and Luana K. Simon was named the first female president of MSU. In 2008, the U.S. Department of Energy named MSU's National Superconducting Cyclotron Laboratory as the new home to the Facility for Rare Isotope Beams, an achievement of nuclear proportions. During Simon's presidency, a lot of awesome things have happened. The Eli and Edith Broad Art Museum, the only Zaha Hadid building on a U.S. campus, opened in 2012. Remember when the gigantic Hollywood blockbuster Batman v Superman filmed here? Yeah, that was cool. What's even cooler was how great MSU sports were in 2014. The football team won the Rose Bowl, and the women's cross country team won the NCAA championship. Just a month after the Rose Bowl, President Obama visited campus to sign the Farm Bill. MSU was chosen because of our strong agricultural roots. So that brings us to today. MSU enrollment stands at over 50,000 students from all counties in Michigan, all 50 states, and more than 138 countries. Spartans have made impacts all over the world for more than 160 years. Who knows what they'll do next, but it's safe to say Spartans will.